Welcome to the official tutorial for the Odoo Community POS app by Cybrosis Technologies, your go-to solution for managing point-of-sale operations on the go. In this video, we'll walk you through everything you need to get started, from logging in and managing sessions to handling orders, cash transactions, and more. Whether you're running a local shop or managing multiple outlets, this mobile-friendly app offers the flexibility and control you need, all from the palm of your hand. Let's dive in. Getting started is simple. Open the app and enter your Odoo server URL. If your server is local, ensure you're on the same network. For a live server, any network works fine. Next, select your database from a drop-down list fetched directly from the server. Log in using your Odoo credentials. Returning users, the simplified login form pre-fills your server and database details for quick access. Once logged in, all POS sessions are displayed in a list view, indicating whether each session is open or closed, with Open Session or Continue Selling buttons shown accordingly. Your profile is easy to manage. View and update details like name, work email, phone, or department. Upload a new profile picture from your gallery, displayed in the app's top bar, and cached for offline use. Tap your profile picture to switch accounts instantly without logging out. When a session is clicked, it redirects to the corresponding POS session page where products are displayed in a Kanban view. In the top right corner, there is a menu icon. Upon clicking this menu, several options are available. Orders, cash in and out, show hide product images, show hide category images, switch product view, back end, and close session. Clicking on orders redirects to a list view of all orders placed in the session. Clicking on Cash In Out opens a pop-up to set the cash in and cash out amounts. Clicking on Show Hide Product Images toggles the visibility of product images. Clicking on Show Hide Category Images toggles the visibility of category images. Clicking on Switch Product View changes the product display from Kanban to List View. Clicking on Back End redirects to the back end page that displays a list view of all POS sessions. Clicking on Closed session opens a pop-up containing session details, including total orders, payment method summaries, amounts received, counts, and differences, and an option to add a closing note. On the top left corner of the product view page, there is a home icon. On the same row, the product categories are displayed. When a category is clicked, only the corresponding products are shown on the product screen. Clicking the home icon displays all available products. Tapping on any product reveals two buttons at the bottom of the product card. Pay and review. When a product is selected and the review button is tapped, it navigates to the review screen where the details of the selected product, such as price, quantity, and amount, are displayed in a list view. This screen also includes various customer options, discount options, and other functionalities. Clicking the pay button redirects the user to the validation screen. This screen allows the user to select a payment method and choose a customer. It also includes an invoice button to generate an invoice along with a receipt. At the bottom of the screen, there is a validate button. Upon clicking validate, the user is taken to a screen showing a payment successful message. This screen includes a print receipt button. Clicking this button downloads the receipt as a PDF file and displays a preview image of the receipt. At the bottom of the payment successful screen, there is a new order button. Clicking it initiates the creation of a new order. Security is top notch. The app validates sessions periodically to prevent unauthorized access, redirecting to the login page if your session expires. Why use the Odoo Community POS app? It offers mobility to manage your POS session everywhere, ordering products with printing receipt and flexibility from multiple servers, databases, and accounts. Download it from the Google Play Store or Apple App Store.